This video is going to be another real talk video where if you guys are familiar with the format, I basically just talk about whatever I want to talk about. I'll have a loose topic in the description or in the title of the video so you guys know what I'm going to get into. But without further ado, I'm going to get started. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, share where you can, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the upcoming streams and things that I'm going to be doing. I will be making a bunch of videos. I'm going to pick up the pace a bit. I've been slacking and uh, I need to do better just because there are things I need to say and places I'm trying to go. So with that being said, let's get started. So actually, even before I get into the subject of this video, I had an interesting conversation with somebody on bitch shoot and i actually wanted to make that the next video but it, the video that i want to make is so complex because i want to make it for youtube but this person they were saying all these things in the comment section on bitch shoot because they know they can't say less, that stuff on youtube right so a lot of that stuff i'm trying to figure out how to say it without being removed from YouTube. So I'm I'm either going to make it a Patreon video or I'm going to just try to edit the things I say, like I might sub out some words or something. But I'm going to show the conversation on the screen so you'll be able to see the conversation. So if you want to read it and you're like what's what's he talking about? I'll show it. Uh, and that's going to be one of the next three videos or so, but this is, this is something I want to talk about because this person, they came to me and ironically, this kind of has to do with this video too. They came to me initially as someone that I felt like was trying to impose some kind of knowledge on me. And they're obviously not familiar with me and all the things I've said, and I'm not expecting anybody to be familiar with everything that I've ever said, right? Obviously, not everyone's going to watch every video that I've ever made. There are a lot of people that don't even know I had an old channel where I used to say a lot of things, a lot more things than I say on, on, that I say on this channel. And um, because of that, this person, they felt like they were trying to educate me on things that I've heard 20 years ago. And, and I, I got a little annoyed because I've heard all these things before. I'm so far past what they're saying that I felt like they're trying to bring me back 20 years. And I'm like, I've already been through this. I've already heard this. I've already experienced this. I've already dealt with this. Why do I want to talk about this stuff when that's not when needs, we need to move past this? Like we're too stuck on this 3D shit. But that's what this person wanted to talk about. And then when I started to talk about things beyond the 3D, then they tried to go and match my energy. And sadly, they did a bad job. I thought they were going to keep up, but they all they could do is basically regurgitate the things that they've heard other people say. And because I was so annoyed with this person, I didn't even feel like really giving them proper responses in the comment section. So I was like, at first, I was just going to leave them alone. I was just like, ah, oh, whatever. They said the stupid comment. Not stupid. They said their comment. I don't really care. Like, I've heard this shit like a million times already. I don't care about this. Like, I'm way past this, right? But then, after I responded to them. Actually, I responded to someone else. Then they decided to respond again to me. And I wasn't even talking to them. So, I was like, okay, now you want to talk to me more. When I've already, I, I've tried to ignore you. I try to leave your little comment there because maybe some people aren't aware of what you're saying. Maybe they are interested in what you're saying. But let me let me uh, let me let you like marinate or sit there and have your little comment and let's see who responds or if anybody cares, right? Then I responded to somebody else, then they responded to me, and I was like, okay, now you want to have a back and forth. Okay. So then I started to have a back and forth with them, and when I did that. They couldn't keep up with me. And I wasn't even saying anything crazy. I was keeping the conversation very simple. And I was asking them questions and I was telling them certain things. And then I was like, 
This person is just regurgitating shit they heard somebody else say. They had nothing of their own that they could bring to the table. I have many things, even on this channel that I've spoken about. Basically, every video, those are my original thoughts. I didn't steal anybody's thoughts or information or try to come up with something someone else said. Maybe I've heard some things that other people have said over the years and I've used it in my videos, but I have real life experiences that can corroborate that information. So I've dealt with things in my life that other people have talked about. So I bring that in to my videos because it just correlates with my life. So I'm like, okay, well, why not? Right? It just makes sense. But for this person, everything that they were saying I could tell that they either read a book, heard a video, follow some person. They got their information from somewhere else. And that's part of what I'm talking about with this video where it's like the naivete of humanity, right? Naivete, naivete, however you want to say that word, right? That's the biggest de like weakness that humans have because a lot of people, they tend to cling to knowledge or information and they get stuck there and they think they know a lot. And this person, I'm not going to say they're stupid. I don't even know if it's one person because they kept saying we. It might be more than one person. I don't know if it's like a, a, a coalition of people. I don't know what the fuck this was. Honestly, that's why I want to make a video about it because it's worth making a video about. But I was just like, okay, this person was basically giving me information that they've gotten from other sources but they didn't give me anything they got from themselves so i'm trying to like ask them hey give me some of your own experiences blah 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 and when they got to that point that's when they decided to cower out chicken out whatever you want to call it and run away i say oh no you know what i don't want to talk to you anymore and they couldn't handle my tone they couldn't handle my energy now not everybody can keep up with me i'm I, I tend to be a negative person because that's how I am. I prefer to be that way because that's the best way to deal with the world that I'm living in. Sadly, I wish it was the other way around. I wish I could be a good person and be nice and, and kind and, and loving and say nice things all the time. But I can't because that's just not the world that I live in. And every time in my personal life that I've ever tried to do that, people take advantage of me. And I'm the last motherfucker in the universe you want to take advantage of. Because you will see the goddamn devil when you do that shit. People know. People that know me. When you fuck with me, you get fucked. That's why I say, you know what? Instead of doing this goody-goody bullshit that never works. I'm just going to be myself. I'm just going to be how I really am. Just be an asshole to everybody. Because trying to be good in this world, for me, personally doesn't work now if it works for you if it works for your friend your dad your sister your brother if it works for your whoever you know right and you guys can make that work for you congratulations golf clap i'm happy for you but guess what that shit doesn't work for me so that's why i don't do it i've even tried on this channel to turn the turn the leaf right turn a new leaf try to be good positive sometimes it works for a little bit, but then I re revert back to this because that's that's my natural state, just being this way. People call it negative, call it whatever you want. I just call it being real and speaking the truth. Now, if you want to call it negative, you know how they say if the shoe fits, if people keep saying something about you, it might just be the truth, right? So if people keep saying I'm negative, then I'm like, OK, well, I guess I'm a fucking negative person. If that's the way you guys want to see me. But again, like I've said in my last couple of videos, I, I, <laughs> the truth is negative in a world that lives off of and believes lies. Right. A world that is controlled by lies will see the truth as negative or evil. And that's fine. If that's how you guys want to look at me, I don't give a fuck. How people want to judge me and look at me. That's your decision. I'm not here to go through every viewer and subscriber and be like, all right, what does every per single person think of me? I can't do that. All I can do is put out my information, put out my knowledge, put out what I know. And you guys do what you want with it. 
the hope that I have is that I wake your asses up and you guys try to make some changes in the world for the better. That's that's the <laughs> hope that I have. And I said that with quotations. Hope. Because it's, it seems hopeless. Like the more people that that I talk to, there are a few, don't get me wrong, there are a few good people out there that understand me and we have conversations, but then for the most part, I just get people that don't understand me or just want to spew shit at me and they think I don't know what they're talking about or they think they know more than me and it turns into a negative interaction. But if it's going to be that way, if you're going to come at me a certain way and I go back at you and you can't keep up, you're going to lose and then you're going to walk away with your tail tucked between your ass. Right? And you're going to just walk away and be like, well, fuck. This wasn't the battle that I should have picked. This wasn't the fight I should have picked. That's on you. I don't run away from anybody. I don't cower away from anybody. I challenge anybody in this universe to come at me and let's have a one-on-one -on -one in front of the world. I don't give a shit. I'm not scared of no one. Not a goddamn person, not a goddamn being, entity, alien, demon, angel. I don't care. I will challenge anyone, anywhere, anytime. But I can't say every time I challenge people, they always back away from me every single time. And that's what happened with this person. I said, OK, you want to have a conversation? Let's have a conversation. Let's get on a microphone and let's talk about it. This person ran away. Every single time. But the, the, before I challenged them, there was this mighty all-knowing God that knew everything about the universe and the world. And <laughs> I'm not even going to say the shit they said because I'm going to say that for the video. If I, I, I got to figure out how I'm going to make that video. It's going to be very complicated because I don't know if I'm going to do two parts. I don't know if I'm going to cut parts out. I don't know if I'm just going to show you a conversation and summarize it. I don't know if I'm going to make it a Patreon exclusive. I don't know what I'm going to do, but that video will be made and it's going to be a, a hell of a fucking video. It's going to be a banger. <laughs> Let's just say that. But to get back to the subject of this video, because I that all the stuff I said pretty much so far had to do with that video that I'm going to make. But in this video, the evil of humanity, right? It lies in their gullible ignorance and good nature naivete. What do I mean by that? Well, like I talked about with religions, right? Or even politics. People want to hope and believe and pray that someone will save them and do things for them. And they have this naive nature that they will, they're always, I don't know what is wrong with humans. This is why I don't consider myself a human. For, it's not even consider. I know I'm not a fucking human. But just the way that they think, the way that they feel, the way that they are. It's always about who can save me, who can do what for me. How can someone else do the work for me? It's never about self-responsibility and what can they do for themselves? How can they save themselves? How can they help themselves? What can they do for others? It's never like like it's like that a little bit, but it's so fake when they do that. Because every time a human is trying to do something for someone else, it's so that they can feel good about themselves. That's what I've noticed for the most part. Are there really genuine good people out there that exist? Sure, I'm sure there are a handful. But I don't like to focus on the exception. I like to focus on the rule. People always focus on the exceptions. Like, oh, well, there's a few people here that are good that... Okay, yeah, yeah, that's fine and dandy. But what about the majority of people? How do, how are most humans in their everyday lives? How do they live their lives? What are their thoughts? Why, what drives humans, right, to do what they do? And again, I'm going to go back to what I just said. It's their selfish desire to make themselves feel good. Even when they're doing a good thing for someone else, it's because they want to feel good. Like, oh, well, I did this thing for this person. So look at me now. I'm such a great person. That's what it's all about. It's about their fucking ego. So for me, I don't really consider that good. I consider that whatever. I'm like, it's not good or bad, really. It's just like kind of in the middle because you're doing a good thing, but it's for your own self gratification, but you are helping someone else. So I guess that's good. I mean, whatever. But anyways, humans are so naive. They, they want to believe everything. They want to like 
worship someone. They want someone to do the work for them. And when you do that, you open yourself up to have evil entities that can play the role of your God or your savior and trick you into believing things that are not true and making you do evil things. And that's the problem. Because a lot of times people think, I'll give you an example. People in the Middle East, they like to commit suicide and kill other people because their religion tells them that's a good thing. Is that a good thing? Fuck no, it ain't. But they're so stupid and they don't know any better and they were raised to believe this. They're just ignorant people. They don't know any better. So because of that, they don't have the, I don't know what, I guess awareness to understand that what they're doing is actually evil and it's not a good thing. They don't know any better. No one has ever told them anything else other than what they were raised with. Other than what their religion has told them. And when you have so many people that are like that, it's, it's bad. It, it is, and, and sadly, most of the world is like that. Whether you live there or you live in Europe or you live somewhere else, most people just don't know any better. I call them low IQ, but when I say low IQ, I'm not really talking about book smarts or or passing because you can be to me. I don't care if you have a PhD. I don't care if you're a college graduate. I don't care about none of that shit. If you can't understand what I'm talking about when it comes to beyond humanity, I consider you low IQ. If you don't see what's going on in the world, if you have a PhD and you're going out and voting, I consider you low IQ. So maybe I should use a different word. Or different phrase. Low spiritual IQ. I don't know how to say that. In a way that makes sense. But. I consider that. You know how to say street smarts right. You're not street smart. Well. That concept. But in a spiritual way right. That's what I'm trying to say. They're not spiritually intelligent. And. They can be the smartest book nerd in the world. They can know you know, all types of whatever. It doesn't matter to me. If you are, if you're participating in this world and the game, I consider you low IQ. I consider you an idiot. And I don't care how smart you think you are to to people that are stupid. This is a problem that humans have. They think they're smart because stupid people think they're smart. That doesn't make you smart because a dumb person said you're smart. It doesn't mean anything. But that's the problem, right? And that's the world we live in. And most people are this way, sadly. If you understand what I'm saying right now, which I think most of my viewers, I consider to be smart. Because most of you guys understand what I'm saying. There'll be a couple of people here and there that'll say stupid shit to me, like the video I'm going to make. Or the videos I've made about other people. But for the most part, I have pretty good viewers. I have pretty smart viewers. And... I don't consider you guys part of when I'm when I'm talking about humans or the world. I don't consider you guys part of that. I exclude my viewers out of that conversation because you wouldn't be watching me if you were like them. People that are stupid don't want to watch me. They'd rather watch. I don't know anything other than me. They'd rather watch TikTok trend uh, dances tiktok challenges st- the stupid shit people want to see right and the the nonsensical entertainment that exists in the world to keep the feeble human minds occupied that's what most people do that's why i like i had the the same person i'm gonna make a video about they they tried to insult me but they didn't really insult me they thought they were insulting me but they were like oh i could see why you don't have a lot of subs i'm like That's actually a compliment because that means dumb people aren't watching me. Only smart people are watching me. So you're not really insulting me. There are not a lot of smart people in the world. So I'm not expecting a lot of people to sub to me. Not to mention I don't make a lot of videos. I mean, if I made a lot of videos like other people do, I'd probably have a lot of subs. I just don't because I've been busy with, you know, IRL shit. But at the same time. I've felt not motivated, I guess is the, the right term. I, I haven't been motivated 
to make videos because I've been watching how humans are. I've been watching them my whole life, but lately, I feel like it's at a fever pitch of how stupid and ignorant humans are. And I'm like, why do I want to make videos for these people? Why do I want to help these people? And I'm not talking, again, I'm not talking about my viewers or subs. I'm talking about the average everyday human who can't comprehend the things that we talk about on this channel. Why do I want to try to help these people? Why do I want to do anything for them? Because the videos I make aren't really for the people that understand me. They're really for the people that don't. But those people are never really going to understand me. So that's what leads me to just say, fuck it. I'm not going to make anything. But regardless of that, I've kind of put that aside now and said, fuck it. I'm just going to do it anyways. I'm going to make my videos. I'm going to talk about the shit I'm going to talk about. Whoever watches, watches. And hopefully enough it reaches enough people that things change for the better right that's the goal and um this coming week i'm going to be streaming a lot talking about whatever you guys want to talk about i'm going to focus on the election obviously because that matters to me where i live I live in the united states so i have to talk about that but it's not going to be the main thing of the. It's, it's, it's going to be the subject of the streams, but not the only thing we talk about. We can talk about whatever. So I don't want you guys to think, oh, it's just going to be about elections. No, no, no. We're going to talk about whatever. And um, I want people to have conversations with me. I prefer my streams because I can have real time genuine conversations with people and we can go back and forth and and talk about whatever usually the people that show up to the streams they're just nice people and they want to talk to me there's no there's no real anything that goes on other than we have good conversations i very rarely have had anything negative happen on a stream they're usually pretty good but regardless i don't want to talk too much about that because i've already talked about that but humans need to i don't know what how to fix this problem but the one one thing that angers me about humans is that as gullible and ignorant and naive as they are they want to argue and fight with people that are trying to help them or teach them and when that happens it just it sends me into a frenzy i'm like why it, it makes me not want to help right it's like why am i doing this <laughs> but again the ignorance of humans and their naivete leads them to religion, to politics, to other avenues that where they basically they get taken advantage of and they can be used for evil purposes. Because if you're supporting the systems that are controlling you and doing evil to you because you believe in those systems and you're giving them power, then the cycle is going to keep going and going right it's going to keep recycling itself you're going to keep doing the same shit over and over and then you're going to keep asking the same questions why is the world fucked up why aren't things getting better why is there so much death murder destruction war racism all this shit that keeps repeating and happening it's because you guys are letting it happen you're believing in the shit that's causing the problems that you don't want and you're giving your power away to that. And then when people like me try to wake you up and teach you what's happening, you don't want to listen. Because the ones that already fooled you, you think they're right. So you go with what they say. And they're leading you to your doom. They're leading you to your death. But anyways, I think I've said enough. I'm going to make a few more videos before I stream. Uh, probably tomorrow. I'm going to be streaming at 7 p.m. Around 6 to 7 p.m. I haven't put out a time yet. But I will put out the time before I stream. So you guys know when to expect me. Uh, and that's going to be Monday. The 4th. At, like I said, 6 or 7 p.m. EST. Eastern time. And we're going to go from there. Um. But I'm definitely going to have a few more videos before I stream because I really I, I really need to address this person. And I really want you guys to see this video. But it's going to be 
it's going to be difficult to make this video. I, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but you guys know when it comes out. Anyways, if you like, like, comment, subscribe, share where you can. Hit the notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.